first emergency I've ever heard of that you can plan for three weeks in advance. It's the first one I've ever heard of that someone who called the emergency can immediately leave to go golfing. It's the first one I've ever heard of where I saw a picture of the person who ordered this emergency also casually ordering eggs at his golf resort the next day. You know, I'm starting to think we're not in the, murder, in the middle of an emergency after all. He will declare a fake national emergency. He will encourage violence at his rallies. He will tell people that the press is our enemy. He will steal money that we desperately need to build the country of our dreams so that he can build a monument to racism along the border. He will do anything to resist the country that is already here. A country that is your home, a country that is my home, a country that belongs to all of us. President Trump declared a national emergency in order to spend billions of taxpayer dollars on his border wall obsession. A few things here are clear. One, as we have heard already today, there is no national emergency. Members of Congress have said it, security experts have said it, the American people in particular, the people living at the border have said it, and even Trump himself has said that there is no emergency. Yes. So for folks that want to do that, all right, thank you all.